Hello there and welcome. My name is Kylie Kane and this is Baldur's Gate episode 20. My name is, again, my name is Kai and uh, we are at the, well, we're at the gates to the mine effectively. We're outside, we're in Cloakwood right now and we've made it a little ways up the uh, walkway, the path where I'm expecting the mines to be. Uh, I have looked forward in the walkthrough a little bit, so I kind of have an idea of what I'm about to run across. But we, I know we are looking for mines. So we're going to be exploring here a little bit in this area as we're trying to, um, well, make our way through. We have just come into contact with some Tesloi as we uh, are taking them across from two different sides. And um, we're taking them out pretty easily. They're not really that hard to deal with. Um, my party members are definitely handling the situation with no issues as the entire party just goes to town here. Um, let me grab everybody and move closer like this. Let's, uh, loot. We've got gold, gold, gemstone, and a dagger. And we're going to continue to move south. I'm pretty sure the mine isn't south, but I do want to double check this to be 100% certain because I'm in one of those situations where I am always afraid that I'm going to miss some like important piece of detail or like something along the coastline or some sort of item that's hiding uh, that I can't see for some reason due to the way the map is drawn or something like that. So I'm always checking these little nooks and crannies of the of the game world just to be certain that i'm not missing anything uh so far it has not steered me wrong we actually found a hidden item in one of the earlier maps um and it hasn't really steered me too far wrong we found a giant rock face in front of us that's pretty cool uh, we're moving up north on the map now as we come across another little path and we come across one two three four guards we're going to do right here. We're going to do... Let's see here. We're going to armor melt that one. We'll armor melt the one in the middle. I'm going to cast the Wand of Fear right there. We'll have my good girl. We're going to have her use the plus... Well, no, I'm just going to have her use normal arrows on that guy there. Rasad, you've got your Battle Axe of Hatred here. Uh, let me make sure you are ready for attacking. There we go. Um, let's see here. I want Khalid attacking like that. And we have our fi Spear 2 Firebrand. Now, Spear 2 Firebrand is a 2d6 plus 2d6, so that's fine. And have us immediately go into Assault Mode. As that worked. Armor Melt worked. Uh, the group is now completely under assault perfectly well, and it uh, looks like they're scared out of their wits, and that's completely okay. Our cast is uh, beginning to prep uh, for the destruction of these enemies, as I want them all to actually reconvene on this enemy here. Pause it so I can actually target this enemy here, uh, who is injured. Uh, and now it looks like Khalid and Emoin are continuing to take pot shots at this guy uh, slowly but surely as the fear wears on. Uh, it looks like everybody is kind of just kind of doing their thing. And this first guy is dead. He dropped a long sword, arrow, dagger, a splint mail, and otherwise. And now I'm going to grab everybody and we're going to refocus our efforts on the next nearby enemy. Uh, he is now near death. He actually took a 13 slashing damage from Rasad. Uh, switching Rasad to the pike like I did was a really solid idea. Actually, we're going to move to this guy who is closer in our path range here. And hopefully nobody's going to move into like combat range with another group. I don't think that'll happen since these groups are tend to, tend, tend to be rather small, rather compact, and... Um, I'm just waiting on their turns to happen as the fear keeps them kiting me around. Uh, and I get why. Final, la the third one is dead. And I know there's another one to the south down here that we are going to move up on and take a glance at. I'm not really worried about their stuff, um, oddly enough. And I'm honestly surprised the fear hasn't wore off yet. Fear lasts a really long time. Uh, so fear becomes a like one of those abilities that you just kind of want on your mage. Um, 
And at this point in time, I wonder if Zan can learn like a fear. Uh, let's double check Zan's abilities on the scrolls here. This is priests. We're looking at Zan specifically. Uh, let's see, blindness, charm person, color spray, identify, we've got two of those there. Sleep, I like sleep, I've got two of those, I can cast those. Locks, Minor Drain, Grease. Grease and Web are fun together, by the way. I'm going to put Grease on the line here. Um, I do not see a fear in this, but we can resist fear. So that's useful. Let's take Ghoul Touch off and put Resist Fear on here. I think that'll be more important. And then I've got one touch of Ghost Armor, one Dire Charm. And Etten's Healing is my fourth level spell. I don't have anything up beyond that. We did well. That was a very well done kill on four enemies, uh, which was fine, which is good. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, these weapons and stuff aren't worth anything. Uh, they're worth a little bit, right? And if they dropped gold, then I'd be more careful and more worried. Uh, but they didn't and therefore are not really all that useful to me, sadly. Uh, it looks like we found what I would call an entrance to a mine. Uh, so we're actually looking to see if any enemies are crowding the front here. Giant entrance. Uh, so let's 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 do a quick save here, and then we're going to enter the mine. Let's take a look as it begins to rain. One, two, three, four wyverns. We got a problem on our hands. Let's do a fear in the middle of them. Then I want to do... Let's do chant on him. Uh, I want to... You have you use air... Uh, on that one there. You're fine on the baby wyvern. Rasad is. Uh, we'll have uh, Khalid hit the that one there. And we go in with the fire spear on the baby. Uh, fear did nothing. Uh, fear actually hurt one of them. Which is fine. I'm going to have her attack this... Guy here, we are they are attacking us, which is fine. We have some poison damage, and that's okay. Uh who got healed there? Uh let's see here. We'll drink the antidote on Yeah, I, I did say drink the antidote on her, right? I don't think I did. Who did I say to drink the antidote? Sorry. Not you. I need her to drink the antidote. There we go. All right, she drink. She did drink the antidote. The chant went off without a hitch. I cast a healing spell. See if it goes off in time. Maybe wyverns are attacking us, and I'm zooming in to kind of see what kind of things we're dealing with. Um, let's move. Hold on. Let's do. What is this? This is a potion of healing. Greater potion of healing. That's good. And I want you to actually just drink this potion, my girl. She drank it. Only got healed eight. Uh, the baby wyvern is near death. We have a one feared running around like crazy. Um, and then we're going to have my boy here cast a uh, aid on my girl here. She got healed up to 40. That's fine. Okay, we're good. All right, so aid got cast on her. The chant is there. Let's see here. What Celts can I do? I can cast Bless on her as well. Uh, what happened? All right, so I want you two to run away. Uh, looks like Jahira just died. Khalid just died. I don't think we're going to survive this encounter, but I kind of want to see what's going on in here. Uh, no, we have two wyverns that are definitely... One, two, three. There's a person in here. What to do? Yeah, we, we're, we're, we're having problems. Uh, the greater wyverns are the problem. That's three deaths we're about to have. I could probably take more, and I'm not too worried about it. Zan, I want you to use your this on him, please. Uh, I want you to use your potion of healing. All right, she used the potion of healing. Zan just ran in for the attack. Uh, it looks like Rasad is going for an attack. Rasad is going for an attack on another wyvern. Um, 
this is actually working okay. It's not great. Um, Zan's about to die, though, and I'm not too worried about it. The, run, the one running around. Zan's about to die. We just killed off the final, well, one of the final wyverns as everyone else rushes in to deal with the final, final wyvern uh, here. And as it's running around, it's fine, I think. Uh, they're both, uh, both Rasa, or both uh, Zan. Again, I'm not too, like, I am aggravated about the deaths a little bit, but it, like, doesn't really bother me. Um,. Because I wanted to one, I wanted to see what kind of damage we were going to actually have to deal with, um, and I think that's okay. Uh, the the wyvern is now non feared anymore, so that's fine. Just keep up on the attack there. Pause it. Everyone, continue the assault. Go go go, and the final wyvern is dead. Uh, this is a dragon wyvern skull, which is a good deal of weight. Now, let's go check this body we've got going on over here. Uh, this body is pretty stacked, actually. A, un, a wand. It looks like a wand of fear. A gem. Okay, we're fine. I'm not too, again, not too worried about this quest. This was a dragon's den, is what this was. Uh, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to going to quick save it. We are saving it, by the way. We're going to rest here. Another wyvern has appeared, so this is a good spot to grind wyverns, it looks like. Maybe? Um, let's see here. Let's cast Bark Skin on, on Kaeldrick here. I think the... Um, I think the wyvern's getting fucked up, actually. Rasad is handling it pretty much solo. Almost. Um, it is getting. He is getting attacked, but he is pretty much dealing all the damage. Uh, Zan is critically missing. Emuin's critically missing. Uh, the death. The, that wyvern's dead. Okay. Very cool. All right. So what we want to do is I want to take a look here. I want to take a look at each and every one of them. Em oh, Emuin. Okay, what did I do? Oh, I just cast Bark Skin. Oh, the, I had the Bark Skin in my hand. That was dumb. All right, we're just going to start picking up stuff here on everyone. Inventory's full. All right, so our inventory is full. That is frustrating. Um, let me look here. We can drop these arrows on the ground. Like, we, what we can do is just drop a lot of these arrows on the ground that I don't need. Um, because I do want to pick up, like, this dragon skull, dragon skull. Um, let me look here what we got here. We've got a quarter staff, zero. Quarter staff, zero. No point in keeping that. Another quarter staff, zero. No point in keeping stuff like that when we can pick up the spider's bane, two. These two throwing daggers, a long sword, a quick bow. All right, uh, can everybody move? Emoin is over encumbered, so I need to focus on her specifically. Um, let me see if I've got light stuff to give out to Emoin. Let's do this and this, I guess. And then have Emoin drop this weight on him. He's close to over encumbered. Uh, and he is over encumbered. Okay, let's. Um, what is over encumbering him? Weight 30 pounds a pop. Who is unencumbered entirely? Zan, buddy. I'm going to give this potion to him. Um, let's see here. Who can carry these potions? She can. And we can have you carry one of these dragon skulls which lowers everybody's weight just enough for us to get out of here safely with everybody's gear um what was that all right I, we checked this body i don't know whose body this is uh 
we can't see a name on the body, so I'm going to assume there's nothing. But I'm going to call this Wyvern's Den an overall success, and here's why. Let me explain why. Because we survived, and that's the most important thing. Now, what we're going to do is we actually can see the mine now, so that's fine. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly... We're going to do some shenanigans right now as we leave this area to get back to Friendly Army. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, that worked. Uh, we were basically doing what I call save and reloads until we succeeded. Now, Friendly Armin does have a temple, and we're just going to click on the temple and walk our happy bets over there so we can revive our fallen oh, teammates. Oh, Stay thy course a moment oh. to indulge an old man. Elminster is here in... F what the hell, Elminster? Hi, Elminster. Elminster says, well met, young man. I trust that thou art well. I've heard many things about thee in the past ten days, and I am most impressed. Art we well, O chosen one? As usual, says Zan. Our lives hang by a thread pulled out of a cloak that Shandoku tossed away, because it would not hold together any longer. We have not felt hope in so many days that yesterday I had to inquire of Keldrick if he had remind me of its proper spelling. And what have you heard? All good things, I hope, I say to Zan Elminster. That would depend on whom thou would ask, now wouldn't it? For the most part, it would appear that thine actions are well-intentioned, and therefore are received as such. Mine is as I would have done. Much is, much is as I would have done, though perhaps not using the same method. Likely, the clues point thee in the same direction I would go. I am certain of where I must go, but perhaps I should confer with you, just to be sure. As thus, as thou hast thou determined, no doubt determined, the clues seem to point towards the cloakwood florist. Tis likely the scoundrels behind the bandits have some sort of base within the wood. Of course, I'm only telling these things thou already dost know. Good luck on my travels, young one. Be wary as well, for thou art making powerful enemies both here and within thyself. I'm sorry that I cannot speak more plainly on this matter, but events must unfold as they will without any meddling from this old man. And Elminster ran away again. Okay, Elminster. Uh, where is the lady of the house here? Galena Mirror Shade, and we're going to uh, revive our party. Raised at 800 gold to raise one person. Jeez Louise, peep on a cheap. I forgot it was super costly and it's aggravating. Serious Wounds. Uh, serious Wounds actually cost quite a bit, but we're going to rest one night after this. I'm just getting everyone up to a decent area. Uh, we can also identify items. Uh, really quickly, going to look at this wand and identify it. It is a wand of fear, as I subject, as I expected, and that's it. We are going to put a donation. How much can we put in? We could put in a thousand gold. Can I just like? Can we go? Go two thousand gold. There you go. Donate. Um, it's not enough to gain. Okay. While your donation to the temple was considerable, it was not enough to go and gain a, a reputation point. I hear relations haven't been going too, too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Dukes supposedly acute arm of all the raiding that's been happening on the roads. Okay. So tensions have been rising. Very nice. All right. Let's do our uh, inventory tasks now that our boy and girl are revived let's grab the plate mail and put it on him let's grab the wand okay let's just do this one thing at a time here um long sword plus one long bow i thought he had the dread bow um i think that's everything of his looking on her crown of the arch druid if i'm not mistaken i had that on my druid um yeah i had that on my druid as I'm looking, again, looking through the inventory and going, okay, what did I have on what character? Who was holding what? Leather armor plus one. I think I was already carrying that. The dread bow. Oh, Vibra Death. That goes there. This long sword will also head there. So will these arrows. Uh, and this is a potion of hill giant strength. I know where that goes. And there's her armor. There is his arrows. His helmet. His large shield. And I have a second set of plate mail. I'm not sure whose plate mail, who was carrying that, but okay. Firebrand goes up to Jahara. Quarterstaff plus one goes up to Jahara. And I think that really covers everybody. All right, so let's get everyone equipped out. Boop. 
Boop. Boop. Boop. Boop. All right, so she is now equipped out. Uh, he's about to be equipped out. We're not going to really too... Ooh, wrong hands. That is gauntlets. I don't have any gauntlets for him, do I? All right, let's get his um, Vibra Death up here. There we go. Standard longsword, just in case. Longsword plus one. Where is the Spider's Bane? There it is. <laughs> I was like, I know I had Kali holding the Spider's Bane for a while, too. Uh, it's not that incredibly useful, but I know I had him holding it. Um, let's see, put that in her quick items. I'm putting the Hill Giant Strength in the quick items for her. We're keeping a couple pieces of gear on him to keep him moving. I need to buy boots for him is what I need to do. I uh, wonder if these Dragon Skulls are worth a dip. Um, where did that wand go? There it went. It went over here. Ice arrows can go to... Actually, we'll send that to her. And I'm going to hand my boy Khalid two stacks of arrows. Refill the arrow count up here on my boy. Toss the rest of the arrows that I can at myself here. Or at Emoin, um, and then we will kind of organize things to be a little better. Potion of Agility, that can go on my boy Khalid. Uh, and I think that kind of covers the whole shishibang there. Um, yeah, I think that covers it. So we're currently at negative one, zero, negative four, three, seven. Zan should never be hit. He should never be up front. And our cleric is good. So that that is a um, victory. So let's now go to the inn and go to sleep. And then we'll head back. I know, Zan, you're so tired. That was fine. I mean, yes, we lost two characters, but it, it ends up being a case of, is it really so bad? There's Nero standing over there in a the corner. Very angry with me right now. What do you have to sell me? Uh, let's go royal. There we go. And let's do some salesmaning. All right. Jahira has nothing to sell. Uh, my boy does, but I'm not selling anything. He had, uh, we got two books that were on Zon, and now we're carrying over here. 500 gold for that wyvern's head, by the way. 500 gold for that wyvern's head. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you take wyvern's heads. Um, we had three wyvern's heads, apparently. Did we have four? Can I count four? Oh, it was a baby wyvern's head. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Um, looking through the spell list here, I'm looking for a specific spell. Probably not going to find it. That's fine. Wait, four, five, five. That doesn't add up. Oh, that's a thousand gold. A thousand gold a pop. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, well, that's done. Everybody's healed up. Everybody's rested up, and everybody can leave. And now we leave. Yay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yay, we did it. All right, I think we can actually head on down to the mines now that we did what we did. More people here than I recognize normally. I don't know what's going on there. Of course, quick saving when we can because um, I have gotten my arse bit by not quick saving. 64 hours to the mines. We've been waylaid by Ettercaps. Let's see if we can take them. Oh, that's a, it's going to be a death. Uh, I can tell it's going to be a death. It's going to be an, uh, what I call a uh, unneeded death. What the hell are we keep getting waylaid by enemies for? Uh, we, we can skip those normally without too much issue. Go up here and then aim yourself this way. Go. All right. Now the battles are actually beginning properly. Uh, Zan, stop getting popped. Oh, Khalid's getting popped. That's Khalid's voice actor. And now the party is actually handling themselves. I don't understand why. Stop beating up on Khalid, guys. Stop beating up on Khalid. <laughs> Khalid, you're a punching bag. I'm sorry. You don't even have the highest age AP, and you're getting you're getting beaten up like a punching bag. It's it's kind of hilarious. IOL Jim, what the hell is that? Uh, what is an Iowa, Iowa gem? What is that? Is that something special? I don't know what that is. That is very strange. And uh, this Ender Cap finally is almost dead. We'll rest as soon as we get back to uh, the worldly world. 
650 experience, a pop. No one got a level, and now we can leave. 48 hours left to the mine. We have now been waylaid one more time by enemies, by two wyverns, apparently, and it looks like one's going after Xan, which is very frustrating. Uh, no, he's not. What the hell? Uh, Xan, I want you to get out your, your bane. There we go. Good, 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 good. Who is, who is, who just took damage? Wait. Oh, wait. Nine slashing damage from Xan. Okay. Who are they attacking? Who is attacking Rasad? I'm not even worried about Rasad. Rasad's got an AC of negative four. I am, or, yeah, negative four? Yeah, negative four. I'm not worried about Rasad. Rasad will be fine. Uh, and we got another dragon's head. Uh, Xan Paul's weapon on you. Oh, his weapon was unusable from where he was standing. Okay, that's fine. Five poison damage from Wyvern. Poison damage has been healed. I'm sorry. How did my boy die? Whoa, nope. We reload. My boy just died. Rasad just got wrecked. How? Let's just take these eight hours at a time. Rest. This is the other way to do it, and it's really... Oh, my God. So many Telosi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, Telosi. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, Xan, disable auto haste, cure light wounds, slow poison. Um, I'm looking through my list of abilities here. She can set snares. Those are actually really good, surprisingly. Sun, slow ray, flaming fist. Let's set up flaming fists. Um... Let's do... What do Sparks do? Ooh, I like Sparks. Sparks are cool. Toss it at somebody. I don't even give a fuck who. No! Alright, now Flame Hands is enabled. What does Flame Hands do? I don't remember what Flame Hands do. Actually, I do remember what Flame Hands do. I don't know if that'll be useful for him right now. One Telosi dead. Two Telosi dead. We're just going to continue to let them fight. Three Telosi dead. How much HP or how much experience are we getting from this? Uh, it doesn't look... Oh, 35 experience a piece from this. Four, Telosi five, Telosi dead. 35 experience a piece. And then we'll just rest through the night. Another one's dead. We're just literally waiting on them all to die. As they all just continue to fall. To missile damage and to just... Our party being a bunch of badasses. I kind of love it. And there's a little bit of gold in this. It's about, uh, what, 35, 40 gold? We'll take all of this on him. And just work our way through the gold list here. I am much more at ease in the forest. Oh, awesome. Okay, good job. That was Khalid who said that, I believe. All right, we just saved it. And let's rest again and see if we get away without re without getting damaged. All right, so we save it quickly. Everybody's fine. I need to grab these gems and put them in the gem bag because that's important. I, don't, I haven't even sold out of the gem bag in a while. I don't know how many gems the gem bag has. A ton of gems. Wow. Including the iron thorn, which... Oh, that changes the user to a zombie. Okay. Uh, let's save it one more time and make our way up next. Uh, 16 hours to the next stop. Fine. Next stop went well. We save it again. Uh, we'll go 36-hour trip. Damn it. Giant spiders. Giant spiders are not too bad. Unless they attack my kids. And my kids being uh, her. I need you to get out your... your your uh, What is this? A, 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 wakasha, a wakasashi. And I need you to get out your, your actual sword and attack the one that's attacking you. Sorry. Um, Alright. The rest of the party, I want you to save Zan's life. Now! And Zan's dead. Damn it. <laughs> the goal was to save Zan's life. Come on. I don't... You have been waylaid by Damn it. Alright. Move up here quickly. Can we leave, actually? Yeah, we can. You don't have to actually fight? What? Uh, you don't have to actually fight, apparently. I honestly thought you had to fight. 
I am utterly actually shocked. Okay, uh, let's set a let's do ghost armor on, and then we'll have you rush in because you have decent armor now. Go. Um, seven missile damage. That's fine. We have a bandit dead. As we're fighting, we're fighting a bunch of black talent elites uh, who are not even really, who are not really in any good way to fight us. Another one's dead. What are they have? wearing? Broken armor? They're wearing broken armor. Yep. And they're all dead. And that was a success. 240 experience a piece. Very nice. All right. We're going to move north just a hair, uh, hopefully to find a nice clearing. Looks like we found a nice clearing, and I'm going to rest. Oh, we can't rest either. Mm, I know, Zan. I know. It's okay. It's okay. I, on the I know, baby. I know. It's okay. It's okay. You're tired. You need a nap. You need one of them nappy poos. We're going to get you a nappy poo. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I love I love treating Zan like like he's he sometimes he acts like a child. Right? And I don't I don't mean to be mean, but he really does, and it's kind of aggravating. Um it's kind of weird. It's kind of aggravating how he acts. Uh what is this? This is an egg? Oh, this is an egg. Okay. Is this the egg? The egg. There's something moving inside though. Some kind of egg. I haven't figured out what to do with the egg yet. We can wear it like an ion stone, I guess. Oh, is that an ion stone? Is that what I got? Where, where's that? Where'd that go? Um, I don't see it in my inventory, so I must have picked it up by somebody. Who picked it up? Do, 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 do. I have no idea who picked it up. Okay. Uh, let's save it now. We still can't save it. We're still in the range of the awful. <laughs> I can still hear it, and that's why. Just gonna walk down closer to it, just wait for it to go away. I wish I could dispel my own spells. That would be so useful. All right, let's rest. All right, we're resting, and we did fine. We did fine. All right, let's go pick up the stuff we need to pick up now, because, you know, there was stuff dropped, so let's go grab it. Uh, first things first, uh, bandit hats. Bandit hats. <laughs> Bandit hats. That's what we're talking. That's what we're calling them. Bandit, bandit scalps. That's what I meant to say. Uh, bandit hats go to uh, Khalid as well as any gold uh, goes to not Khalid. What the hell are you doing? Running away for? It. Anyways, I actually clicked down somewhere. I guess. All right. So arrows can go to my girl. Uh, and there's really nothing else here I want. Okay, so we're going to so save it since we did loot the did the looting. And we're going to move south. Uh, I thought the game got real cinematic there for a second. I'm like, whoa, why'd the game get real cinematic? It didn't get cinematic. I'm just, I'm just uh, not very good with camera usage right now. For those who may be watching this live, is is they're like, what the hell is he doing? Um, anyways, we're moving through the Cloakwood Mine Forest. We're outside of the mine, I believe. Um, and we've run across some Talos, Tem Talsoe, which is fine. Begin your assault, go. Now, Talsoe, again, as you found out when we got ambushed by a bunch of them, are not really all that harmful, like, to us. Uh, like, they do hurt a little bit. Like, um, they hurt when you get hit, right? But they're not that harmful. They're relatively harmless creatures that... We really don't have to worry. Emoin, can you not critical miss, please? What does a critical miss do? That just means you missed really badly. Um, okay. Zan auto paused. Is he out of... Oh, no, Zan. Are you out of daggers? You are. You only have 15. Oh, you have 120. What are you doing? You have daggers. Stop it. Stop it. Stop your fooling, sir. All right. We picked up everybody, and um, we're quick saving. As we continue our march around the uh, woods. Yeah, we're marching around the woods. The reason I don't describe the woods every single time I'm in the woods is because largely, while it is pretty, uh, it largely looks the same. 
Like, there's nothing really new about it. There's more Telsoe, which are these... I don't know if I've ever explained what the Telsoe looked like. The Telsoe looked like uh, small diminutive uh, creatures who seem to be very hell-bent on uh, to, uh, removing me from um, polite society. Uh, they make that weird sound, so maybe they're like... Um, what are they called? Merklings? Merklings, maybe? Something like that? In WoW? Um... The ones that go, whoa, 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 whoa. those things. I don't know what they're called. Um, I know they have a word for them, but I'm not sure what they're called. Um, so that's a thing. The thing I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a thing that they sound like. The fish creatures. What are they called? I just called them fish creatures, really. The fish creatures, the fish people. Not Naga. Naga are snake people. Though in WoW, they were not snake people. They were uh, a water-born people, I guess. I don't know. I found a stream or a river, which is pretty cool. Um, but I didn't find any mine as so far as to yet. And I know I'm reaching the, the western border of this land. Um, as we move, quick save, move. Oh, shit. I found it. I found the uh, the area where we need to go, so now I need to figure out how to cross it. Okay, you can't cross it there. So I'm trying to find a shallow pool, shallow enough for me to make the river crossing. You would think this would be it, but it does not. There's an area that looks like low land that looks like it would be a suitable river crossing, but you cannot, and that is very strange. Is this a suitable river crossing? No, it looks like there may have been a bridge there at one point, but no suitable river crossing so far. We're continuing with our quick save, our, our move, quick save, move, quick save uh, sort of ideology. Looks like there is only but one entrance into that area, and that's sort of frustrating. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got to go through the only entrance in. Uh, we'll just aim everybody in the right direction. Do a couple quick saves. That's my my bar is completely filled with quick saves right now, so it's kind of impressive. Uh, as we round everyone up and move everyone, march everyone in. We are fighting two more guards who are relatively harmless. I say relatively harmless; they're not harmless. I want to mention they're really not harmless, but they are fairly harmless. Uh, and that's because we take them out in two or three hits. They only give about 120 experience, and like in that one. Uh, it took he took 20 damage uh, from two of our characters and just fell. So while I'm not worried about this, um, it's not so bad. Meanwhile, as we make our way into the camp, Zan needs to talk with us. He goes, "Shall we consider us continue our discussion on immortality?" Of course, go ahead. If all we do is strive towards carving a place in history, then all we do is useless. Everything fades. Books, money, heroic deeds. Children, they die, and often leave no offspring of their own. But we cannot all be a waste of space, can we? Oh, we are. But it is too much of a horrible thought. There must be something we leave behind. Something immaterial. A small piece of our hearts. Or rather, we need nothing here. An imprint. Any imprint on reality, however bright, fades with time. But we always are something somewhere ourselves. But what is the point of an immortal soul in Alvindar or in Karth? Truly, I do not understand. You still think, breathe, love, that is the main point. Life is the point of living, huh? A symbol of living. Life and love. I have to think about this. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're getting somewhere. Someone immediately crosses our path as we walk forward into the uh, fortress and says, Draw your daggers and spells and let out, let have at ya. You've crossed our employers and this is as far as you're able to go, my friend. I should have known that lazy bounty hunting rabble wouldn't get the job done. Never set off a second best, I always say. Uh, I'm actually going to go the peaceful go. I don't suppose you wouldn't care to talk this over. There's no need for bloodshed. No need for bloodshed, says Drasus. There's an incredible need for bloodshed. We've been looking forward to it all day. You fight very well, so we are here to stop you. Don't think they come in to squash bugs, do ye? Okay, we've got one. Rizdan, Drasus, 
and a paladin linked. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cast fear in the middle. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to cast where sleep at. Sleep in the middle of the fight, right? I'm going to have Emoin use her arrows plus one on the mage. My boy here is going to use the potion of in well potion of invulnerability really just do saving throws actually it might be useful we're gonna have him drink that potion there cool um why is he on fist mode i don't understand at all anyways uh what potion is this potion of agility rocket baby potion of hill dry and strength rocket baby and immediately cast your chant go Okay, our party is now under assault as we begin our fight. Looks like the first one's going to die. Okay, that's fine. Uh, our boy here is going to cast fear into the group again. Oh, and it feared everyone except for the mage, which is perfectly fine because now we're going to cast on the mage. Oh, we have some fears cast on our mage. That's okay. Their mage is in pain now. We're just going to continue assaulting the mage. Oh. Ah, we killed his mage, like, just in, like, literally just in time. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. All right, so what I'm going to do is, how is our health looking? We're a little low on health right now. Um, I know for a fact there's a fight coming ahead. So what we're going to do is a couple things. I'm going to start this before I do anything else by casting Armor of Faith. Then I'm going to do a chant. Alright, hold on. Let's do the Faith chant. And then do Bark Skin on Xan. Cool. Now I'm going to cast a... We're going to do Armor of Faith on her as well. And then we're going to do... Where is it at? Hold on. She's got web somewhere. Entangle up there. Alright, so we cast the Entangle spell, right? And now we're going to use the Potion of Hill Giant Strength. The Potion of Agility. And... Get everyone ready. Go into combat. Go. Uh, and the dialogue's already begun. The web has already begun to be cast. That's okay. We're now going to have Xan cast the, the Wand of Fear into the group. Which feared two of them. Very nice. And now I'm going to have everyone go to attack Ginthor right now. <laughs> All right, so Ginthor. Everyone saved versus the spell, it looks like. Come on. Oh, we got confused. Damn it. There's no saving versus that. We're confused. Shit. No, nope, that's a death, I think. I think a confusion is, a, is an actual death. We also have a very uh, crisis is near death. Auto target is gone. Who was that? Crisis, I think, just died. Jihira, who's all confused? Confusion. Cast fear again. I could use a little patchy look. Well, I'm working on it, baby. I'm trying to deal with the confusion problem, and uh, you're confused like out of hell, which is aggravating. Um. Let's see here. Let's cast Grease on every... Or Sleep on everybody and see if it works. I literally can't control anyone right now. I could use a little patching up. Come on. He's about to die and I can't do anything to heal him. Uh, Cure Light Wounds. Oh. Uh, he's un... What did he... What did they just do? Does resistant fear also protect him from... It does. What the hell? Uh, 
Yes, it does. Awesome. I want the entire group. Where's Resdan? Resdan's down there. Go. I feel I need healing. Okay, that's okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine, baby. That's fine. I want you to drink that heal giant strength. Okay, good, good, good. All right, now, what does this do? Uh, grants one druid spell from uh, equipped ability. Charm animal. Okay, never mind on that. Who's got a healing spell I can toss her way? I have some potions of healing she can use. Let's toss that in the quick items for her. Her. We'll use one of those really quickly. She actually... Rezdan's almost dying, but why is Jahara still on the way out? Why don't I do a spell major healing on her? She's not poisoned either. Okay. You and you attack him. Go. Oh, I see what's going on. She's being attacked from up top. That makes sense. Uh, she's being attacked by someone who really shouldn't be attacking her, who is apparently awake, who we just need to deal with really quickly. And everybody just rushed in to deal with. Very nice. Uh, let's take out the sleeping guards real quick. Sleep is actually a fairly powerful spell, and I kind of love it. Uh, let's get everyone in here. Where is my the rest of my party? Oh. Okay. Actually, party, group up. Uh, where's the final guy? I don't know what the hell's going on, but everybody seems to be healed. Uh, we've got Traveler's Robes, Robes for Zan, Splint Mail. Oh, this is not good Splint Mail. Arrows can be picked up by her. Daggers can be picked up by Zan. I don't quite understand what's just happened, but it looks like we may have won the assault. I don't know if that's truthful or not. Um, man, there's a lot to go around here. Okay, there we go. Dagger. All right, let's go over here real quick, and let's take a look at our container loadout here. Um, we can equip more quiver arrows on... Oh, these are unidentified arrows. Okay. We have a bunch of unidentified arrows, which we need identified. We have a fire shield red which is definitely pretty cool. It's an evocation spell, though. And a magic missile is also evocation. I don't think I can learn magic missile properly. And I probably can't learn this either. Let's take a look at these robes. Armor class, negative one. Okay, that's a traveler's robe. What am I wearing? I think I'm wearing remote robe of fire resistance. We also have a robe of... Okay, cool. What we're going to do is have him equipped with uh, something that can protect against arrows. Um, so there we go. Very nice. Now, again, I'm a little confused. Uh, our old, our other enemy, the other Black Talon, ran. We saved it real quick, and we were able to heal through the night. Uh, that was fine. It worked okay. There's also a door right here, which we can open and take a look inside. There are two Black Talon guards inside, who we just quickly, really quickly make quick work of. Um, how do I make sure that um, I pressed the wrong button. You have to apologize. I have to apologize. How do I make sure that stays on? Um, oh, it's this key. That's what I'm looking for. Anyways, I was like, for some reason, I couldn't see all the items on the game. The reveal details tab was not on for some reason. Um, all right, we have a locked chest an empty chest and a locked chest with stuff in it that we're going to take. Uh, Emowin, get over there and work your magic on that locked chest. Please. And we gained a potion, a zircondrin, a potion of magic shielding, a potion of genius, 
and some other stuff. We got also some stairs we're going to quickly. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Uh, a guard is on the top floor and says, please, please don't kill me. I'll tell you where the mines are. Yeah, yes, I'll do that for you if you spare me. The entrance is to the Bailey to the east. Please, please let me live. All right, you're free to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I gotta go downstairs and pick up the rest of the group uh, as we climb up here. And Emoin, you're up, baby girl. Unlock that chest. What's in chest number one? A sword and some gold. No biggie. Chest number two. We'll just unlock all through all the chests real quick. We're gaining 17 experience for unlocking each chest, and I kind of love it. So it's like free experience for her. Um, gold. Gold. Ooh, what the hell is this? A heavy crossbow. Never mind. I was like, oh, that's pretty. It's a heavy crossbow. I mean, I'm not going to use it. Uh, gold. And gold. We robbed the guards blind. Uh, how does that make you feel, everyone? It makes me feel good. I don't know why I just said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it makes me feel great. Um, all right. We saved it quickly and moving forward uh, as we continue moving towards a bridge to what I imagine will be the second area. Is there any more to this area? There was. Can we walk back there? I don't think so. I don't think we can. Uh, we cannot. Okay. There's area on the map. There's not really anything we can do with it. But yeah, I, I, okay, this is neat. We're at the mines. We haven't made our way in yet, but we did deal with a ton of bad guys. I, I think, I don't think this is going to be our final, our final countdown. As uh, a black talent leech literally interrupts my conversating to shoot me from a distance. Uh, this makes you a bona fide, verified arsehole. Sir, I was talking as we walk up this hill slowly. I can't even see the ground behind this wall here. Black Talon, Gen Thor. Oh, we already fought Gen Thor. Hello, Gen Thor. Welcome back, buddy. Oh, pal. Oh, pal. Oh, buddy. Apparently, he ran for the hills like the coward he be. Zon, shoot Gen Thor. Everyone, attack him. Attack him. Thank you. The bl the Black Talon Elite is now dead. And Jen Thor, I'm sorry, buddy. But you just did a... F what we... Caliloquy... Caliloquy... Nobody. Nobody, nobody, no. It's Dire Charm him. Let's see what happens if I Dire Charm him. Did it work? It did not. He saved versus the spell. I was curious if it would work. I didn't think it would, but uh, hell, it's worth a shot. Um, what can I cast on him? I can cast sleep. Let's do it. Cast sleep. Cast sleep on the boy. Let's go. Let's see if it works. It did not. He is not even getting injured. Like, he is missing. All right, we barely hurt him. All right, now we're hurting him. Now we're doing damage. Uh, he is hurting us back, though, and it's not great, but, I mean, it's not the best, but, I mean, we're we're dealing more damage to him than he's dealing to us, um, which is fine. Thank you, Emoin. I don't know why you just talked to me in that manner, but okay. Where is Emoin? Emoin, where are you at? Emoin? Okay. Uh, Emoin was literally doing nothing. 1,600 experience. No big deal. Get up here, Emoin. You rascally wabbit. Um, oh, shoot. Inventory's full. Why is my inventory full? Uh, oh, I've got arrows on me for some reason. Why am I carrying arrows? Did I actually do that? I probably actually did that. Drop that on the ground. Drop that on the ground. Drop that on the ground. Drop. Give those back to Zan. Drop that. On, I don't want to carry this crossbow anymore. It's literally wasting my ammo space. It's wasting my brain space up here. Um... I'm going to pick this up. What is this? This is a just a, uh, a halberd of some sort. I'm looking through the goodies on the ground here. Uh, Zan, you can pick up these darts. Not darts. Uh, throwing daggers. 
as we divvy our way out here. What the hell is going on? Is there any... Oh, there is. There's like... It's really hard to spot, but on the map, there's like really no room to move. And it's really frustrating. Alright, uh... Are we fine to go into the next area? Probably. We'll save it. That's what we'll do. We'll save it and then go inside. Go inside. Thank you. Guards. Titus guard. Multiple guards. Immediately go into a battle. Uh, guard is injured. Titus is injured. Kaeldrick's injured. Uh, everybody's injured. Critical miss on somebody. It's fine. Uh, what the hell's going on? Flaming Fist went off. Khalid's going down. Swing in. Uh, number one in the unit. A loaded gun complex. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, heal up, guys. I'll need a healer as soon as possible. No! Um, okay. So, this is bad. My boy is in trouble. In massive trouble. So what I want to do is I want to give this to him. This to him. And have him drink the po- No. You drink the potion. No! Wow. Who are you supposed to be healing? You're healing... Oh, you're probably healing the right person. I'm, I'm doing pause and unpause really fast to make sure that we're not getting our, our asses kicked. Uh, I want these three focused on this guard over here. Lost Khalid. Khalid's dead. I swear you'll never hear the end of it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, we I saved it to rest and then immediately got assaulted by guards. That's dumb. All right, back inside. Um, You know what? Before we go inside, let's do Armor of Faith. Um... Uh, Bark skin on Khalid since he tends to be the first one running up. Alright, now everyone run in. Go. Thank you. Ready, guys? Go. Alright, yeah, they immediately assaulted Khalid. I just noticed that and I do not understand why. It does not make any sense to me. What are you doing, Zan? Get your butt in here. Thank you. Zan, cast fear on the room. Go. That's two of them. 100% out of the fight. Yeah, there we go. Much better. And now we're now we're doing now we're now we're cooking with gasoline. I took them out of the fight immediately. Jahira's getting smacked around like a freaking uh, a puppy in a lot of pain as the rest of the group begins to assault Titus. Titus is dead. What is he holding? A girdle? Some sort of girdle. Uh, somebody gained a level. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a case of... It just requires a little bit of planning, typically, to... to uh, to succeed in these sort of sort of attacks and uh, sort of things, uh, it takes a hair of planning, a lot of luck, and what the hell is this girdle? Not identified. All right, we'll pick up the girdle. We've got an umber hulk plate. Ooh, that's cool. We have just some generic armor, uh, some money, a bastard sword. And that's the only things that are useful in here. Let's check the box. Check this. Nothing here. Emoin, baby, check the crate. It has two swords that are of no good condition, no caring, no nothing. We're going to organize up and we'll do a little bit of identifying. So we're going to put these spells in this crate here. We're going to organize ourselves to be a little bit more roomy because we need to identify some stuff. So, boop. Uh, who else has got stuff to identify? Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, two things to identify for the arrows, which means we're probably going to do a rest in here. And we got three to identify from my boy. 
My boy! Oh no, my boy! This is a, what is this? A 12 strength armor class 2 versus my armor class of nothing. That's good to see. Um, that's not bad. That puts me at a negative 4 damage. Uh, negative 4 on my plate here. That's really nice, actually. Can anyone wear the ember? Uh, maybe. All right, we're going to start identifying stuff. We have a Florian plate, um, which is a two minus one versus slashing. Uh, that's actually really nice too, and I might take that over this and give the umber plate to, yeah, I gave the umber plate, the umber hulk plate to Khalid, which puts him in a negative one. Uh, let's check this girdle, and this is the girdle of Stromunos. The Enchanter, Preston of the Vast, created this girdle 700 years ago for his bodyguard. Dendris the Y. He named the broad belt after a hill giant who'd almost killed him when he was looking for Pokemon. Dendris died defending Preston from rival mages near Ondolin. That gives you a strength of 19. Uh, I need to double check real quick here. My stats. Strength of 16, 18, 16, 10, 13, and an 18. Um, you know what? This girdle would be really useful on my, on my, on my attacking, on my attacking monk. Uh, so I'm going to put it over there on him. A bastard sword, which we can't identify anything else now, so it's a good time for us to do a save and a rest. Oh, we can't rest out here. We have to rest inside an inn. Okay. So let's leave the area. Let's zoom out a little bit. And we'll quick save. Oops. Nope. Quick save. And then rest. And if we get ambushed, we'll just we'll just reload and rest. Could we made it? Awesome. That way I'm just not having to fight with it with the uh, with the goofiness of that. We got a bastard sword plus one, no big deal. We've got a Dragon Scepter, which is a plus three weapon, 1d6 plus three, uh, which is really nice. Um, got Thacko of 16 versus my Spear plus two, but the Spear plus two does plus six, dam plus six damage, honestly. So it's one of those things that it may not be. Uh, let's see if this is better than what he's got on. Uh, it's probably better than this Staff of Life, honestly. And it's probably better than Rasad's Talon. It's a 1d8 plus 2 versus a... Nope, the same as Rasad's Talon. Okay. The Poleaxe is just, just on the all better. So, nice weapon. Not that useful, sadly. Um, Perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. Oh, quiet you. All right, so we have two sets of arrows to identify as well. Uh, we'll just that. Kel Keldrick. Oh, Keldrick leveled up. Nice. Let's level him up then. Uh, that did nothing. Just gave us a two priest spells and we're done. Okay, cool. Alright, we're gonna rest. No damage, no bodies. Awesome. And we can heat. We can ad identify the other two items. Arrow of ice and an arrow plus one. I didn't have to identify them. They were just identified at, at sleeping. Very nice. Okay. Uh, do we have a normal longsword on us? And we have a broadsword plus one. Uh, let's broadsword plus one is weaker than a longsword because the longsword's a one d six eight damage, where a bastard sword is a two d four damage. So uh, maybe I don't know. I think that this five to eleven, six to thirteen, five to eleven. I don't know if that's correct. That doesn't seem math wise to be right. Either way. I think it's high time for us to call it a game. If you enjoyed the episode as we moved up towards the mines of Cloakwood, you have to follow the channel. It's super important for you to do that. It means a ton, right? And I want you to follow us. Can you do that for me, please, everyone? We are actually in the mines. Yes, so we have moved down in the mines. So that's where we're going to save it for the night. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please follow me on Twitter. Follow me on uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash Kylie Kane, where you only have to spend $1. You can also find the entire, the, there's an RSS feed for folks who are not patrons, who do not have their RS, who do not have patron rights that can get access to it. You just have to log in. You'll get a custom RSS feed. And as soon as you become a patron, you get access to everything. Of course. Uh, it's really nice. 
Um, and it keeps track of that stuff for me, which is which is cool. Um, otherwise, uh, again, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, sometimes. I got a Facebook page. I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, if you like check you like this, check out the rest of the series. We are in episode twenty, so that if you listen to this one first, please go back listen to the rest of the series. It's a good time. Uh, we are now at twenty hours of content for this season alone. I tell you what, how exciting that is! Twenty hours for season two, not counting the bonus episodes. Twenty hours of season two. That is fantastic, and we are really, really only at the halfway point of the game. That makes me happy. Uh, this is running, honestly, longer than a lot of TV shows have. And I know it's a lot less effort to make, right? Duh. But it's still fascinating how awesome it is to be able to do this week after week. With the exception of my hiatuses, week after week, giving you this sort of content. I love it. Be awesome. Stay safe. Stay dry. And uh, if you're going out this weekend, to, if you're going to go out at all, tell your loved ones that you love them tell them that you need them tell them that you miss them and hug your mom give her a call she needs it love you guys i'll see you later bye